Kirkbury Run 3, Emma Girl in 5, KO Kid in Box 7, Evans Diluted, Aussie Winner, Blazing Fox and Miss Abbey. It's a field for the first over 400 metres. <coughs> Moving in well. Last of them has been locked away. Green light switched on now. Lure in motion, the first at Wangaratta this afternoon. 400 metres, they're set, ready. Racing this time, Bent Banana came out okay along with Blackberry Rum in the centre out wide and Miss Abbey. Just in behind them in the early stages there was Aussie winner around the outside goes KO Kid. Further back railing through was Emma Girl, getting back now was Miss Abbey. Further afield then was uh, KO Kid followed by Blazing Fox, diluted in the straight and Bent Banana's got it clear in second placing Blackberry Rum but Bent Banana by five lengths on Blackberry Rum. Six away, third was Emma Girl from Aussie Winner. In behind them came Blazing Fox. Oh, followed by Diluted, who's done the best somersault out. And uh, back in the bunch two is Miss Abby. Stand by for our numbers on race number one. Numbers about to come up on the first. One, three, and five. Number one, Bent Banana, the winner. Second placing to three, Blackberry Rum. And third to five, Emma Girl. One, three, and five on the first event on the program. One, three, and five. And turn and raced away for a good win, Bent Banana. Bent Banana owned by R. Andrew and trained by that same person at Pearsdale. The winner of Black Dog whelped in March 83 by Kid Scandal from Tem Moss. Uh, second placing going to three Blackberry Rum by Chariot Supreme from Lady Dingan. Trained by Dee Blewett at Keon Park. And third to five Emma Girl by Chariot Supreme from Miss Etzel. Trained by Ronnie Eisen at Murchison. Placings 135 on the first event on the program and all clear is there on those placings, all clear 135. John, 43 was right Yours, mine, ours, three entrancing, four black coin in five. Dynamite Kid, six. Ashley Echo in seven. Ring a rumor, box eight. It's a field for the second event, the grade five over 400 metres. Grade 5, 400 metres, now they're in. Second at Wangaratta, they're all set for a start. Ready. Racing this time, bounding straight to the lead, Lestrange Kelly at box rise from Midnight Kid the Rails. Then came yours, mine, ours around the outside was Ringer Rumor. Getting between runners then was entrancing, followed by getting a check there, Ashley Echo. Came back to and checked Dynamite Kid and Black Coin back to the rear around the turn. They swing Midnight Kid in front. Going on the outside now is yours, mine, ours. Midnight Kid kicking away though and Midnight Kid a length and a half to yours, mine, ours. Ring a rumour got up for third. They're followed by further back in the bunch. Then came Ashley Echo. Wider out was entrancing. Black coin dynamite kid well back. Midnight kid in the bunch to pull up. Stand by for placings on race number two. Numbers about to come through. Race number two. One, three and eight. Number one, Midnight Kid, the winner. Second placing to three, yours, mine, ours, and third to eight, Ring a Rumor, one, three, and eight on the second event on the program. Well, at box rise there, Lestrange Kelly was best to leave the boxes, but Midnight Kid, also yours, mine, ours, and Entrancing, they're all handy. There's a closely bunched field going into the first turn. And. Uh, as they came off the back, Midnight Kid was able to work to the lead. Yours, mine, ours was out after it up the straight. Midnight Kid, couple off the fence. Yours, mine, ours appeared to look for the rails run, then switch to the outside and the home straight. But Midnight Kid was too strong. Second two, yours, mine, ours. Number three and third to number eight, Ring a Rumor. One, three, eight on the second event on the program. Midnight Kid, owned by A.J. Evans, is a brindle dog whelped in November 85 by Kid Campbell from Blue Louise.
And all clear is there on one, three and eight. All clear, second placing to three, yours, mine, ours, by Proven Bold from Gay Ash, trained by G. Willis at Shepparton. And third to Ringer Rumour, number eight, by Chief Dingarn from Merry Crispins, trained by A.J. Huggins at Wodonga. One, three, eight, all clear on the second. Now, time and margins, John. Number three, they're moving in well. Katie's Lament, Ashley Opal, Kugalina, Truthfully Owls, Checkmate, Box six, Denver Miss, Box seven, Durham Ox, and Box eight, Miss Melanie. 400 metres, the second heat of the maiden sweepstakes, race three, they're set for a start, ready racing this time, towards the centre, checkmate, one of the best out with Kukalina the inside and around the outside in the early stages, Miss Melanie, Miss Melanie's cleared them, checkmate second, further back in the field, Durham Ox followed by uh, on the rails then, truthfully ours, they've spaced the rest, followed by Ashley Opal, further back, Denver Miss and well back on the turn, was Kukalina in the straight though, on the outside it's Miss Melanie in front of checkmate and Miss Melanie a length and a half checkmate, Third placing went to Durham Ox, followed by Ashley Opal. Well back in a Denver miss, followed by Truthfully Owls. Well back, Kukalina and Katie's Lament. Always back towards the rear. Stand by for the placings on race number three. And we'll wait on the time as well on the third event. That time, 23... 50, 23, 50 the time and the placings 9, 5 and 7. 9, 5, 7 the numbers and the time 23, 50. Number 9, Miss Melanie coming from the outside, box number 8. The best to begin in it was checkmate. Kukalina joined at the rails but uh, shortly afterwards Saw that green rug whip right around the outside. It stayed out wide. Then she cut to the rails, Miss Melanie, into that first turn. And it's been too strong. Checkmate, having its first start in a race, chased home keenly to hang on for second. And in fact, well clear of the rest of them, headed up by Durham Ox, who's got third. Nine, five, and seven. And by H. Hunter at Lavington. The winner, Miss Melanie, a... White Bitch whelped in November 85 by Chariot Supreme from Apocalypse. There's the all clear now on 9, 5 and 7. All clear, second placing to 5, Checkmate. Having its first start in a race, trained by John Westerlow at Clyde by Mercy's Idol from Autumn Glory and third in to number 7, Durham Ox by Eaglehawk Star from Harper Valley, trained by V.O. Sullivan of Preston. One and a quarter by six. One and a quarter by six with the margins, a length and a quarter by six and the race time there 23.50 after race number Gazoom Surmount Caesar's Era Miss Cheltfield Top Duchess and Maglisa box four here vacant of course with the late scratching of Angie's Chariot reserve that got a run but was withdrawn due to non-arrival now the last them being locked away for the fourth event, the grade five over 400 metres. They're all set now for a start. Here's the lure. All set. Ready racing this time, Majestic Bow and also Seleka Zoom flew the start on the inside out wide at Top Duchess driving through Miss Chelpfield. They're followed by Maglisa taking off around the outside, getting checked back in the field then Seleka Zoom. Well back in at Surmount, Majestic Bow on the home turn and Top Duchess in front uh, railing through to join it though, Miss Chelpfield, Miss Chelpfield and Top Duchess Miss Chelpfield might be doing the better it has, Miss Chelpfield by ahead on the line to Top Duchess now, Maglisa would have got third just in front of Caesar's era. Further back then was Samount, Select, Azum, Majestic Bow. Stand by for the placings on race four. Good keen go. The two that were best out of boxes, Majestic Bow and Select, Azum. Squeezed up then in, around that first turn and were pushed back in it. They've wound up back near the rear at the end with... Uh, Miss Cheltfield getting through the field along with Top Duchess out wider. On the home turn, Top Duchess was probably about three quarters in front. Drifted off the track. 
Miss Chelpfield went up along the inside. Looked as if it was going to race away, Miss Chelpfield. The top Duchess has come again. But on the line, I think you'll find Miss Chelpfield's probably one of probably about a head to a neck on the line from top Duchess. And in all probability, Maglisa will be the one there for third. Of the others in it, Sir Mount never really a chance got back. As I said, uh, Majestic Bow, Selecker, Zoom. They were the best out of boxes. They flew the boxes, that pair, but then got into some trouble in, on that first turn. They were checked and dropped back through the field. That left Miss Chelpfield and Top Duchess battling it out on the home turn. Although uh, Top Duchess had got off the track, Miss Chelpfield got up on the inside. Top Duchess has fought back well, but you'll find on the line Miss Chelpfield will get the verdict here from Top Duchess and Maglisa, the one there for third. Photo all round on race number four. Is that 60, John? 2360? 51, 53, 51, all right. Here's the photo coming through. Number six is the winner. Number six, Miss Chelpfield, the winner. Second placing to number seven, Top Duchess. And third to eight, Maglisa. Six, seven and eight. Ahead by five. With the margins, ahead by five. 23.51. 23.51 the time. Six, seven and eight after the fourth event. Hip stakes, Vanunu, box one. Champ Sun in two, Lady Jerome three. Quiltum in four, Bowl Kelly five, a bit like a six. Does she ever seven? And uh, box eight is the reserve no picture. You're all set. 400 metres, the fifth event, they're ready. Racing this time. Good even dispatch to Lady Jerome. Hit the ground running from Quildam up on the outside. Going forward two on the outside was Bold Kelly followed by Champ Sun railing through. Then came no picture further back. Then was a bit like a followed by Does She Ever. And they've got away from the other pair. Vanunu and Quildam on the home turn. And up the straight it's Lady Jerome in front. Out after it. Bold Kelly the outside. Lady Jerome though by a length on the line. Two bold Kelly, Champs on the rails got third, followed by Does She Ever, further back, no picture, Vanunu, a bit like her, and Quilton back at the rear. Stand by for placings, race five. It's a good even dispatch at box rise, but shortly afterwards, Lady Jerome and also uh, Quilton Bowl Kelly were showing pace. So too was, uh, does she ever out wide? It was a great charge early. But, uh, we'll just stand by with the official numbers. You'll find Lady Jerome will be the winner here when they go up. From uh, Bold Kelly, I think it was, we placed second. From Champ Sun, you'll find will get third. They're going up now. They're three... Three in a photo, three in a photo, Lady Jerome the winner, and a photo called for for second and third to separate five, Bold Kelly and also two, Champ Sun. Three in a photo, and we'll just check that time for you on the fifth event. Right, actually second and third to number two, Champ Sun. So they are three, five and two on race number five, and that time on the fifth event was 23.89, 23.89, on race number five. All clear Wangaratta, 352, all clear.
moving up. Grade 5 stake over 640 metres. We've got Dashel up, Mopsy Mango, Chelstar Lady, Arumba City, Lucky Someone, Our Biddy, Club 11 and Gwenda Gann. About set for a start at the top of the straight, down to the judge in the lap of the track. All set now. Here's the lure. Race six, they're set. Away they go, along the inside, Dashalot came out okay. Arumba City showing pace in the early stages. Just behind them, Moxie Mango going up stylishly on the first turn was Our Biddy. Out of the straight they swing and getting to the lead now, Arumba City. By two lengths in front of in second placing Chelstar Lady the rails, then Dashalot the outside. Further back then was Lucky, someone at the head of the rest, then Club 11. Followed by Our Biddy, further back then was Gwend again. And last of all, Moxie Mango to the turn they swing. Arumba City over three lengths in front, running home well in second placing now, Chelstar Lady up along the inside, Rumba City getting tired, Chelstar Lady coming out of Chelstar Lady, by a neck on the line to a Rumba City, Dashalot got third, in behind them then to pull up was Club 11 at the head of the rest, Lucky Someone, followed by Mopsy, Mango, Al Biddy and Gwenda Gann Stand by for numbers on race number six Numbers about to come up Sixth event on the program. You'll find number three, Chell Star Lady, has won this race. Rumba City had the break on the home turn. Found the distance just that bit too far, and Chell Star Lady's come home too strongly on the line. Three, four, and one. Number three, Chell Star Lady, the winner. Second to four, Rumba City, and third to one, Dashalot. Three, four, one. And we'll just check that time on the sixth event. 38.0. 38.05 was the time after the running of the sixth event. Three, four, and one. The placings. Chill Star Lady spotted the leader, as I said, Arumba City, about three or four on the home turn. But Arumba City was getting tired up the straight. Chill Star Lady stuck to the rails as it did throughout and has raced away. Probably got up by about a neck, neck to half a length on the line. Chelstar Lady from Arumba City and Dashalot, which was one of the best out of the boxes, up prominent on the first turn and has battled on for third. Of the others in it, Gwenda again, Club 11 got back with our, or our Biddy was up there for a while around the first turn, but uh, dropped back through the field. Lucky someone finished midfield in it, likewise. Mopsy Mango got back right now. After the running of the sixth event, the winner there, number three, Chell Star Lady, owned and trained by G. Laidley at Cheltenham. Winner, Chell Star Lady, a white and black bitch, whelped in October 83 by Shamrock Point from Chelpfield. Half a length by six with the margins. It's won by a half length in the run home, Chell Star Lady. In second placing was number four, Arumba City, by Proven Bold from Bally City. Trained by A. Hickmott here at Wangaratta. And third to one, which is Dash A Lot by Dashing Disco from Lot of Spice. Trained by J. Bliss at Anarchy. Half a length by six. That race time was 38.05 after the running of the sixth event on the program. Two, Barbari at three, Mary's Chief four, Son of Susan five, Joe Tana six, Silver Swing seven, and Blue Cross in box eight. Moving up well. In fact, they're all in now and set for a start. The green light on, the lure in motion. Race seven, the grade four. 400 metres set for a start, ready racing this time. Towards the centre, Son of Susan came out the quickest with Barbaria driving through on the rails, getting to the lead now, Silver Swing. Silver Swing's taken over, Blue Cross goes to second, trouble back in the field. Running the third, Mary's Chief at the head of the rest, Joe Tana, Mabel's Legend and well back now, Barbaria into the straight they swing. Silver Swing in front, running out after it is Mary's Chief, but Silver Swing, Silver Swing by two lengths, Mary's Chief second. Third went to Joe Tarner in front of Blue Cross. In behind them then came Barbariot, Mabel's legend, son of Susan, was well back 
and Pintara Chief was one of those in trouble, has finished back towards the rear. Placing's about to come up on race seven. Stand by for the numbers. Race time 23.68. Check that official, seven, four and a photo. 2358, 2358. And by W Hickmott is a Brindle Bitch Whelped in January 84 by Red Swinger from Tiny Tawara. Second placing going to number four, Mary's Chief by Chief Dingan from Mary Crispin, trained by AJ Huggins at Wodonga. And third to six, Joe Tana by Tangalo from Land Dotty, trained by M. Greg at Keeler Downs. The margins are coming through. Two and a quarter by four and a half with the margins. Two and a quarter, four and a half. Bernie's Hope in two, Phase Fendi three, Cyclone Christie in four, Galveston Lad five, Frank's Force in six, Dapper Boys seven, Gallon Shroud Box eight. Moving up well for the eighth event, 400 metres, of course the final of the sweepstakes next week. Here at Wangaratta. Now they're just about set for a start in race eight. They are now, the green light switched on, here's the lure. Eighth event this afternoon from Wangaratta, they're set. Ready to go racing, Baluda Boy came out smartly with Faze Fendi driving through Frank's Force and up on the outside early Dapper Boy. Dapper Boy leads Gallon Shroud. Baluda Boy settles third, followed by further back was Galveston Lad. Then a gap back Frank's Force followed by Bernie's Hope. Well back in it then Cyclone Christie and Faze Fendi in the straight. And Dapper Boy out in front trying hard Baluda Boy. But Dapper Boy wins. Baluda uh, Bay got second, third placing went to Galveston Lad. Uh, then in behind them to pull up on the outside was Frank's Force. Uh, Bernie's Hope followed by well back in a gallant shroud who pulled up quickly into the pens. Faze Fendi in the bunch too. Stand by for our placings on race number eight. Numbers about to come through on the eighth. Seven, one and five. Number seven, Dapper Boy, the winner. Second to one, uh, Baluta Bay. And third to five, Galveston Lad. Seven, one and uh, five. Seven, one and five on race number eight. Dapper Boy, the winner. Baluta Bay second. And Galveston Lad third. Seven, one, five. And we'll just check that time. On race number eight on the program. Forty three, was it? Twenty three forty three it may have been. We'll just check it. Official seven one five the numbers. Dapper boy, too good for Baluda Bay and Galveston Lad. Seven one five after race number eight. To race eight, all clear. 23.43 the time and all clear is there. The winner. The winner scored by a length and a half with four and a quarter second and third. A length and a half by four and a quarter. The winner number seven, Dapper Boy, owned by and trained by G Laidley at Cheltenham. The winner, a Brindle and White Dog, whelped in January 85 by Tangalau from Stage Talk. Second placing going to number one, Baluta Bay, by Chariot Supreme from Cheeky Flash, trained by E. Fennec at West Sunshine. And third to number five, Galveston Lad, by Chariot Supreme from Miss Etzel, trained by Ron Eisen at Murchison. Placings there, 715 after race number eight on the program. And that, in fact, gives owner trainer G Laidley a double today of course scored in race number six with Chelstar Lady 
and is followed up with the win there of, Tang, uh, of Dapper Boy in race number eight. Also about to move up in Melbourne too for the seventh there. Moving in here, JJ Slick, Koala Coin, Crispin's Chief, Wanabara, Voltron, Wings Away, Vic Flyer, Ready Master. All set here at Wangaratta and they're racing in Melbourne. Ready for a start, the grade five. They're set racing this time. JJ Slick, the best to begin from inside. Wanabara Voltron driving through Koala Coin in the early stages. Vic Flyer out wider in a bunch field. Ready Master just off the pace. Then came Voltron. Further back then was Wings Away. Wanabara's dropped back. And last of all, Crispin's Chief on the home turn. A great charge. Koala Coin's got through to lead. Trying hard, Voltron. But Koala Coin scores by about two lengths on the line. Either Voltron or Ready Master for the Miners, just in behind them then Crispin's Chief who made ground at the end then further back in the field was JJ Slick, Vic Flyer in the bunch with wings away Stand by for placings here on Twangaratta race 9 Numbers about to come up 2 and a photo here at Wangaratta, check further details after this Melbourne race 2 and a photo at Wangaratta Race time was 23.63 here at Wangaratta, 23.63. It's two and a photo on race number nine. Koala coin the winner. Photo for second and third to separate Voltron and Ready Master on race nine. And eight, number two, Koala coin the winner. Second to five, Voltron and third to eight, Ready Master. Now it's two and a quarter by half ahead the margins, two and a quarter half ahead, all clear is there, two, five and eight. Back there moving up now, Bogong Cloud the inside runner with extra revenue, Vinaldi and Lad, Pinion Palace, five guitars, Risky Rado, Dainty Lass and Royal Return. Full field of eight to run here. The reserve carrying the green rug extra revenue in box number two. And they're set for a start. Grade five over 400 metres, all set, <coughs> ready to go. Away they go this time towards the centre. Pinion Palace was best to begin with. Bogong Cloud up on the outside early was Royal Return. Just behind them then running on was Dainty Lass. Up in that bunch two was Vinaldi and Ladd. Then a length and a half away came five guitars. Extra revenue. Last of all Risky Rado rounding the home turn. A great charge. Royal Return in the centre. And also there is Bogong Cloud and up along the inside. Vinaldi and Ladd. Vinaldi and Ladd maybe from Bogong Cloud. Pinion Palace or Royal Return third in a great finish. Just in behind and then came five guitars from Extra Revenue, Risky Rado back in the bunch. Very keen affair up the straight. And up along the inside.